Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for October 30th, 2020. The character is the silent, and the mod for our curse run. Whenever you defeat your boss, become cursed. Your starting relic is replaced with curse key, darkstone parry up to do it all. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And night terrace, resting at rest sites, heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. I see Vorpal with 1302, really good score. Let me review the score from yesterday because I thought I did really well. All right, so I had 1915 yesterday and okay, these scores are believable. If you remember yesterday, we had Curse Run and the Hoarder modifier. So it all just came down to collector bonuses and I got reasonably lucky, but clearly people were able to get a little luckier than I was. Anyway, let's move on to today's turn. So Curse Run, Time Dilation with the Silent, same of, uh, well, yesterday I also had a Curse Run with the Silent. All right, let's see. So maximizing elites, two elite path. Actually, any of these elites will do, and then I'll work for that second elite. In terms of maximizing question marks, which is very important in a cursed run. So if I go on the left, I'll get four early question marks and then five, six total. I think that's pretty much the best path, right? If I go on the right, it's eh, close. It's five question marks and a shop, an early shop. But I think, again, I really have to maximize question marks, so let's stick on the left here. Okay, hopefully one of those four early question marks will be a curse opportunity. All right, and I have to remember because of the slow debuff, I should probably play skills first before I play um, non skills. But with the extra energy, this first act should be relatively easy, um, except for the elites. Those might be a difficulty. Okay, actually, I might kill here. No, no. Uh, what I was, what was I thinking? Very far away from killing. Okay. All right, Piercing Well, Prepared Expertise. Piercing Well is a very good defensive card. Let's take it. All right, and then no curse here, but I get Ekabiko. Your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. Very nice. And yeah, sure, I'll remove probably a defense since I picked up, uh, since I have Survivor and picked up another defensive card. Okay, um, I actually wouldn't mind healing here. With Night Terrors, I would like to avoid healing if possible. And I did just take a bunch of damage for that Akimiko. Let's heal. A card removal is fine, but at this point, my deck is thin enough that I don't think I need to remove a card. Yeah, let's just heal. Okay. Remove Transformer Upgrade. I'm actually thinking of Transforming just because I really need something to kill Elites because I don't currently have anything. Uh, yeah, let's Transform a Strike and hope for something good. Burst. That is not what I had in mind. Ooh, this is a little dangerous. Let's do the red side after the elite. I'm just worried that I might not be able to kill here. Uh, all right, let's see. So I could burst a defend. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, let, let's burst a defend for full defense. Okay, and then I'll do strike and neutralize. Yeah, I'm a little worried, but I do have a red side after this, so I just have to survive this one. I'm definitely not going to be able to perfect... Okay, maybe I should have triple striked actually. Yeah, it's, this is fine. So yeah, taking damage. There's, I mean, I had four question marks and none of them gave me anything useful. So not much I could have done there. Let's do piercing wheel, survivor, and then strike. Okay, should be able to kill the next guy with one attack. Mm -hmm. Give me one attack, please. Thank you. All right, and then we can, whoops, we can this guy. And then doesn't matter. I guess I can target the backliner here. Mm-hmm. All right, double defend, triple defend, actually. I could have quadruple defended with that burst. Now that I have a burst, maybe I should try to go for poison. That would be an interesting strategy. Okay. Another nine. I might take a lot of damage. Uh, all right. Luckily, I can fully defend here. I'll speed this up because I think it's going to be boring. Um, so I'm at 32 HP. I'll be right back. All right, long fight. I ended up with 21 HP, which is fine. I also got the courier. The merchant restocks cards, rel relics, and potions, and all prices that are reduced by 20%. Uh, Riddle with Olds is pretty much only good with Akabiko. I think because I have the burst, I should probably go for the deadly poison. Yeah, yeah. I think let's do the deadly poison here, even though I still might have to fight the Gremlin Knob, which might be a problem. But I think I should get that deadly poison upgraded first. Okay, and then hopefully I'll be able to pick up a good attack card. All right, okay. No curses still. A little disappointed by that. I could burst the uh, Deadly Poison. That's 14 damage. Um, actually, no. I should probably do this. Let's burst the Deadly Poison on this guy. Okay. And then I can kill you and kill you with the regular strike. Okay. 
All right, another deadly poison. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to go for the uh, collector bonuses, mostly because I might get duplicates from the cursed run modifier. So let's do another deadly poison. Why not? Okay. Wait, I'm on the right path, right? Did I mess up my path? No, that's six question marks. Yeah, no, I got it right. All right, here we got our first curse, Shame, as well as Sundial. Every three times you shuffle the drop pile, gain two extra energy. Okay. And then here could be another curse. Uh, it has to be another curse. I'm a little worried about my HP situation, but let's take the other curse. We also got a Smiling Mask. Emergence card removal servers that always cost 50 gold. Okay. I probably won't be using that that often, but nice to have. So I would love to burst the... Actually, I can burst the Deadly Poison and almost fully defend. Actually, well, yeah, there's no other alternative here. Let's just do this. Okay. All right, I'll take one damage here, but he'll have 13 poison, which is pretty neat. And then let's get rid of the Regret. I can pretty much play everything here. Okay. And then, yeah, the Ekabik allows me to kill. We got a Dex Potion, Concentrate, Noxious Fumes, Sucker Punch. I mean, if I want to do a Poison deck, then Noxious Fumes is pretty good. Let's take it. Now, I'm just really worried about the upcoming boss, but again, I can't risk not resting here. Let's upgrade. You know what? Now I'll upgrade the Burst, and then next I can upgrade the other Deadly Poison. Okay. Yeah, Kremlin up. that's exactly what I was afraid of. Luckily, wow, look at this hand. Look at this opening hand. All skills and the best ones. 24 um, poison. That's really good on turn one. Okay, 14. Yeah, sadly, there's nothing I can do to fully defend here, right? So I might... Actually, if I had one more attack, I would have been able... Hang on, hang on. Could I have killed if I played the defend first? I have to know. I don't actually think so, because for the... Um, extra percent damage to have an effect that it'll probably have to be more than 10 damage, but I do want to try it, just just to be confident. Uh, I mean, I could also sit down and calculate it, but, you know, might as well play it. Okay, so let's assume I'll play the defend first, so then a strike instead of 16 deals 17 damage, so that's plus one right there. This is another plus one. Look at that. Look at that. That's exactly enough. So, okay, fine. I'll, I'll At least I noticed it, right? That was impressive, actually. So only because of the slow debuff, you can't perfect this one. Anyway, we got Nuchako. Every time we play ten, 10 attacks, gain extra energy, as well as Blade Dance, Backflip, or Prepared. Since I don't have the Grumman Knob coming up anymore, I think Blade Dance would be great once I have extra strength, right? Let's take it. Okay. All right. So the Lice. Uh, let's burst. I guess I'll burst the defense to be fully defended. All right. And then Noxious Fumes, and then Strike kills you. And neutralize you, okay? Yeah, I'm trying to think if I should lean into the uh, Noxious Fumes deck. Because uh, it will take a little long to, to become effective. But if I if I wanted to, if I want to use it, I should probably get it upgraded. Okay. We've got a Weakness Potion. Infinite Blades is also pretty good. So is Escape Plan. Let's go with the Infinite Blades, though. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll upgrade the Noxious Fumes. It's a little risky because I'm lacking defensive cards for Noxious Fumes to be really worth it. But I do have a burst, so all I need is to draw defensive cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here, definitely, let's do Infinite Blades, uh, defend, and then strike and neutralize. I might have trouble splitting him, actually. I do have a weakness potion. 35. Uh, okay, let's see. So Blade Dance, Shiv, Shiv for extra energy. Survivor, the shame, defend, noxious fumes, and yeah, I can't, I can't split him here. Not the best split value, only 56, but good enough. Luckily, I'm not getting attacked. Let's burst the deadly poison, mm -hmm. and then uh, might as well double up on this to get the slow debuff going. So this will deal 25. He'll split a little more than that. So if I do strike, he's guaranteed to split next turn, not this one, because it'll be 31, right? Yeah. So let's not actually shiv the backliner. Let's shiv this guy. Okay. All right, so I am weakened, but he'll be splitting. This guy will not, though, and I will I be able to transform this guy. Yes, 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 that's enough. Okay, let's get rid of the slime. Should have probably played some of the defense first to get the slow debuff going a little bit. Okay, again, I don't have any AoE, so this is actually not great. Luckily, only 10 incoming here, and I feel like I can kill the backliner. Uh, let's do defend. And then, do I want to do? Do I want to waste the piercing whale? Next turn might be rough. Uh, so hang on. If I do deadly poison, he I won't be able to defend. Actually, if I do piercing whale and then 
the neutralize, I should be able to... Yeah, I can, yeah, let's do that, because that way I won't take any damage. He'll die next turn, and I can spend a strike on you and a shiv on you. So that way this guy can be killed next turn with another shiv. This guy's dead with the poison. I just have to worry about these guys. Okay, luckily they're not attacking. Okay, looks like I got lucky here. So let me get rid of the regret and then slimed. Okay, so these guys are dead. Let's focus on... Actually, both of them are guaranteed to attack me next turn, right? The poison will take care of the frontliner and the shiv will take care of the backliner. Yeah, okay. I, I think that was, that was some tough planning involved here, but I was able to perfect. Also, no, I, I shouldn't discount the fact that I got, I got really lucky. The attack pattern of the enemies was perfect. All right, Nightmare, Thousand Cuts, Doppelganger. What's the curse I got? I got a Doubt, okay. So, um, if I get extra energy, Nightmare is not a bad idea. Um, but Thousand Cuts would be nice AoE. Although well, they're not super useful. And I do have extra energy. And I have a Burst. Actually, Bursting the Doppelganger might be better. Let's take the Doppelganger here. And then I don't need extra energy urgently. Do I want Sneko Eye? I don't have a single high cost card, so never mind. So Sneko Eye is going to be pretty bad. Velvet Choker is going to be bad with the burst. I guess, do I want Empty Cage? Remove? What would I even remove? Strikes? Um, Not really. I mean, I deal damage. If I want to lean into a Poison deck exclusively, then I would remove a Strike, but... This is tough. I might just skip this Relic. It is problematic, though, right? Because I need to get to 25 Relics. I mean, if I take Empty Cage, I'm really struggling what I would remove. I guess I'd just remove two strikes and hope to pick up better strikes. Or maybe one strike, one defend. Fine, let's do the Empty Cage up and pick up and remove two cards from your deck. And that's just going to be a basic strike and defend. Yeah, that, that, one's, that, one, that one was a little tough. I do wonder if like a better choice would have been better long term. We'll find out. Alright, so only one two lead path on the right. With one, two, three, four early question marks. And the fifth one later on. Alright. Yeah, this chosen is exactly why I didn't remove two uh, two attacks because, or two strikes because uh, I do need some attacks for this guy. Okay. All right, and then deadly poison. Let me play a defend first before I do these strikes. Okay. And ten incoming. Let's burst the deadly poison, and then do I want to keep the Nchaku triggered? No, let's just kill. Okay. All right, Sneaky Strike, Piercing Well, Acrobatics. I mean, if I'm going for Collector Bonus, Piercing Well, but if I want a good deck, I think I should go with the Acrobatics. Okay, definitely not losing all of my gold here. All right, so I could Burst the Deadly Poison. I think, hang on, one, two, and then play Survive. Oh, and then Burst the Blade Dance. Yeah, that's a good idea. So one, two, three, and then the Strike, right? So I'll take a little bit of... Oh, actually, do I want to do Survivor? Yeah, I might just skip the Strike. So let's Burst the Deadly Poison. Mm -hmm. And the blade dance. Okay. And then I'll survivor. Alright. And then 14 plus 13 is 27. So, yep, that's enough. And then target this guy next. Actually, should I just kill the backline? Let's kill the backline. That way I don't lose any decks. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, 20. Um, defend infinite blades. And then double strike. I wonder, no, I, I wouldn't have enough, uh, the slow debuff wouldn't have been strong enough to kill the backliner, but it got me there. Okay, let's do acrobatics, get rid of the regret, and then let's do deadly poison. Um, yeah, I probably, well, let's do piercing well, that way I don't have to take any damage, and then shift, neutralize, and a doppelganger. Okay, I should be able to kill fairly easily next turn. Hopefully. Yeah, I guess I can burst the deadly poison always. Actually, let me try to kill this way just so that the regret deal doesn't deal damage. We got red mask, I saw which combat, apply one weak to all enemies. An upgraded infinite blades or a cloak and dagger. Let's go with an upgraded infinite blades, why not? And here, let's see. Adrenaline wouldn't be a bad idea. Quick slash is fine. Dark shackles is great. Shame is fine. I probably don't want quick slash. Let's try to get an adrenaline, I guess. Dark shackles would have been better, but adrenaline is fine. Okay. All right, birds. 
Let's see. So Blade Dance would allow me to get one of them on the ground. That probably won't be the one attacking me, though, because I am fully defending against that. Let's bring one of the birds to the ground that is not attacking me. Okay. All right. Okay. 15 incoming. Piercing one is probably fine. Uh, let me burst the defend, then the piercing whale, just to get the slow debuff going. And then the rest, I think, can be attacks. So let's do... Actually, do I want to get another one to the ground? Let's try. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, 15. Uh, let me shiv, shiv, strike this guy down. And then uh, let me do acrobatics. Oof. Okay, so then deadly poison, defend, and noxious fumes. I'll get rid of the doppelganger here. Okay. All right, so this guy should be dead next turn with the poison, or the turn after, because he doesn't attack me. Can I kill the backliner, actually? And then the backliner will be dead with the poison that, that the turn after, too. And then I just have to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. And then might as well target these guys, just to make the slow debuff a little easier on me. Mm -hmm. uh, not the slow debuff, the regret curse. Alright, Sucker Punch, Dodge and Roll, Sneaky Strike. Uh, I don't have any of these, and I guess Sucker Punch is good with the weakness. Yeah, and I do need a little more uh, offense in my deck. I decided to go on the right here. Oof. I mean, it gives me a collector bonus, and then I can get some of my max HP back with Dark Shamperi up. Let's do it. Yeah. I am thinking of actually upgrading some of those. Yeah, that way I can keep them in the deck for a little longer. Okay. And I could, of course, burst them, too. Now, I really needed that in the opening hand here, and I didn't get it. One of the apparitions, that is. There's no way I can kill. The enemies are already weakened, so the weakness potion is not going to do anything, and the dex potion is just going to give me 14 block, and I need 19. So, sadly, I don't think there's anything I can do here. Um, I'll do infinite blades, defend, defend, and then strike. Okay. Get rid of this. Yeah, that was just unlucky. Uh, I just need an apparition in my opening hand, and that would have been done, but... Sadly, that didn't happen. All right, uh, let's do infinite blaze blades, a burst piercing wheel. Okay. And then strike and shift. Should have played the order differently there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a lot of incoming. I am uh, vulnerable at this point. Uh, let's see. Deadly poison is not enough. Let's do acrobatics first. Okay, there's the apparition. Finally, that's the first apparition. A little late. But uh, I'll gladly take it. And then defend to not take any damage. Uh, deadly poison. So he'll be dead next turn from the poison. And then attack somebody else. Oh, actually, do I want to get the, the another deadly poison or blade down? So let's do another deadly poison. Okay. Even the regret only deals one damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so backline is dead this turn. Uh, two more apparitions. Let me see what the adrenaline gives me first. Oh, yeah, look at that. All of my apparitions were at the bottom. Uh, let's do Noxious Fumes, and then, yeah, two more apparitions, and Shiv, Shiv. Mm -hmm. So, wait, for energy, I can play... Uh, well, I'll play the Survivor, might as well. And then play the attacks, lowest to highest, I have to remember that. Mm-hmm. And he's dead from the poison next turn, right? That way I can keep the Nunchaku at 9. Uh, let me just get rid of the regret. Okay. Alright, too bad I didn't perfect this one, but we got Art of War. If you do not play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn. And then Dagger Spray will be great with the Duvidal and Ekibiko, but Noxious Fumes for a collector bonus. No, let's focus on damage. Mm hmm. All right, Shelt Parasite, Fungi Beasts. Uh, at least here I'm getting an early Apparition. That's nice. I still need a way to defend even if I draw only Apparitions. Currently that is somewhat of a problem. It's still taking a little bit of damage. Okay, so another... Let me see what the Adrenaline gives me first. Okay, another Apparition. Strike, Blade Dance. Okay, ship, ship. Should have, again, played the uh, defensive cards or skills first. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, so here let's do another apparition, acrobatics. Um, yeah, I would like to play defend just to be, well, just to be defended. Uh, let's do deadly poison here and then play the defend. 
I'll shift the back ladder. Okay. Yeah, so this guy should be dead pretty soon from the poison. Um, okay, maybe... Actually, I guess if I burst the deadly poison, he'll definitely be dead from the poison soon. Let's sucker punch and shiv. And then I'll double up on the doppelganger too. Okay, sadly, I'm still taking two damage here. But yeah, next turn instead. Okay, uh, let me play a few attacks here. Oh, he's dead already. Okay, I wanted to get this guy to 9. We got an attack potion and backflip, bouncing flash, sucker punch. I mean, if I'm going for a poison deck, bouncing flash is needed very urgently. We got another Seamus Souls Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill into a deck, upgrade it. Very nice for any future poison skills I'll pick up. Okay, so I think bursting the... Well, I guess I can burst everything here, right? Burst Apparition and burst the Deadly Poison. Okay. Now I just need at least one defensive card each turn. All right, so hang on. Let's do Defend. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. Apparition, Apparition, and then the Bouncing Flask. Okay. I don't want to waste the uh, the Vigor. Nah, fine. Let's use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then another Apparition. Okay, good timing here. I can do Sucker Punch and uh, just do a bunch of attacks. Get the Nchaku a little upgraded. We got Liquid Bronze, which I am not necessarily going to take over the potions I have. And Acrobatics is really good here. Okay. Alright, Snicko. Yeah, let's just play everything here. I'm not sure why I was hesitating there for a second. Okay. One incoming, and yeah, this is what, this is what would have happened if I had picked up the uh, Snake Eye. So I guess I'll just take the one damage and do. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do a strike, strike, shiv, noxious fumes, and doppelganger. Okay. All right, fifteen. A free apparition is always nice. Uh, an adrenaline that costs more than gives me back is probably not that good. Let's do Shiv. Actually, I think a, a Deadly Poison is pretty appropriate here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have defended just to avoid that 1 HP of damage, but I think I should be fine. Alright, uh, nothing to burst here, but I think I should be able to kill. Okay. Alright, we got a Gambler's Brew, which I don't think I'll take. Another Deadly Poison. Yeah, I might just get a Collector Bonus for Deadly Poisons. That would be nice. And then definitely let's choose another card. There's an Upgrade Catalyst. Now, Lex Sweep might be better, but I need the Upgrade Catalyst. I think that's that's going to be my hope against the upcoming boss. Alright, first the Elite, though, who is attacking me, and there's nothing I can do. Yeah, it's 12 incoming, um, and he's already weakened. Let me see what the Attack Potion gives me. Yeah, the only hope I had is if it gave me a dash. So, yeah, nothing I can do done. Let's do Sucker... No, hang on. Can I kill one of these? Yeah, so I can kill one of the minions with a Shiv and a Kabiko. Um, one, two... Yeah, probably just going to be attacks. Let's do Deadly Poison. Mm -hmm. And then... Defend... Why did the oh, the Bane I got from a potion, right? So I can, I can do another Sucker Punch. Okay, let's kill you, and then almost kill you, and then do Sucker Punch and Bane. Okay. Yeah, getting a little unlucky with the uh, Elites on this act. Could have easily perfected more if I hadn't, uh, if I had a few more Apparitions when I needed them. Okay, so let's do Apparition, Infinite Blades. Oh, I'm out of energy, right. Mm-hmm. He is summoning, that's good. Let's do another acrobatics. Uh, get rid of the shame. Just do three apparitions, why not? And then I'll do adrenaline and hope to get a deadly poison out. Alright, or noxious fumes. Yeah, noxious fumes might be a little better since it is uh, mostly... This is mostly an AoE fight. Okay, so good thing I'm intangible. Uh, but I can burst the catalyst for 162 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also... Uh, allows me to get the overkill modifier for dealing more than 100 damage. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Alright, let's see. We got the Bottle Tornado, which I'll look at in a second. A Swift Potion, and of these, I mean, Flying Knee I saw for the second time already, so it might not be bad. 
Uh, fine, let's take it. Actually, Glass Knife would have been better with all the extra strength. I don't have that much, though. Maybe I got spoiled by yesterday's run where I had like 20-something strength. All right, which of these in my opening hand? Let's take the Noxious Fumes in my opening hand. Although now my opening hand is a little weak than uh, what it could be. I guess I also have to draw an Apparition here. Let's definitely do... Well, let me play Noxious Fumes. Apparition, Apparition, and then Dagger Spray. Mm -hmm. That Dagger Spray was very important here. All right, I am intangible, and then, so, yeah, this is enough to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. And then I should be able to kill this guy, okay. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right. I guess I don't understand why, well, no, yeah, it's fine. All right, backflip, Crippling Cloud, Reflex. If I'm going for Poison, I should definitely take the Crippling Cloud. And then I am, again, a little low on HP, but I think I'll continue upgrading my uh, apparitions. Especially in long fights, it'll come in very handy. Mm -hmm. Alright, champ is attacking right off the bat. Luckily, I do have a bunch of acrobatics, which is good. And an apparition, but no defense. So I need to draw another defensive card. No. Well, I guess adrenaline might give me one. Let's do apparition. I should have played the other one. That was a mistake. Oh, come on. I don't have any way to defend. Uh, Alright, let's do Deadly Poison Neutralize. And then uh, drink the Swift Potion. And yeah, I think I think just playing a defend here is sufficient. Okay. Alright, so here the goal is to burst the Catalyst if I can. Let's do another Apparition. Let's do Crippling Cloud, Deadly Poison, Survivor, and Apparition. Yeah, I think this is... I messed up. Let me real real quick. I think this was a um, it, it's a right strategy. Basically, keep the catalyst until at least the enemy has way more strength. Oh, uh, way more poison. Because I think I only had six when I got it offered. Uh, uh, is this a different hand? Oh, because uh, I didn't wait. I'm confused. This is not the hand I had the first time, right? Oh, this is weird. This is the, the hand I had a second uh, on, on the second turn, not on the first turn. So I wonder how that shuffling happened. Let me just make sure it's consistent. Yeah, wow, all right. I mean, that makes my life easier. It just makes me feel more like a cheater. No, wait, no, no, no. The, I, I'm mistaken. That was my first turn. Yeah, I just got a little too excited. All right, let's do Adrenaline. And then um, let's get a defensive card. But first, let's play... Uh, probably not the Bouncing Flask. Uh, no, no, we should play that. Okay. And then the Flying Knee. Or Noxious Fumes. Let's do Noxious Fumes because this enemy does get minions. And then I need a defense. Uh, after have to reload again because I forget you don't keep energy with the Swift Potion. You still have to pay them. So I have to skip one of the cards I played in the last turn. Let's try this one more time. Actually, I'll speed this. Well, no, no, it's it's only this these two turns, right? So let me let me just get through this real quickly. Okay, adrenaline. All right, so deadly poison, apparition, and then just noxious fumes. Okay, keep the other apparition for later. I was fully defender, right? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah I played a defend. I think. 24 incoming. Yeah, too soon for the catalyst, but can I defend here so I can weaken him down to 18? I don't see a way to weaken. Wait, I I am confused. Did I play the defend card or not? Did I have 20 health? Let me just reload just because I don't want to have messed it up and then have to replay the whole fight. It's still early in the in the in the run. Because I thought I used I had to use the swift potion. Yeah, no, I took one damage. Yeah, yeah, I have to be a little more careful. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And then play the Apparition, Adrenaline, and then... Wait, why did I not get a Defend this time? I am very confused. I thought last time I got a Defend out of this. Did I mess something up? Because right now I don't have any... Oh, oh, right, and then I, I had the Swift Potion. That's what it was. All right, let's do Neutralize... Agnoxious fumes, or what did I say? <laughs> Noxious fumes. I think I said something wrong. And then here, yeah, finally defend. Okay. Alright, 18. Um, let's do apparition. 
Do I want to do Crippling Cloud? Actually, yeah, it does more more um, poison than the Deadly Poison. Plus the weakness, obviously. Okay. 13. Another Deadly Poison, Defend, Apparition, and 16 with 13. Let's do the... Well, actually, I can do both. Okay. Alright, not getting attacked. That's good. Sadly, nothing useful to burst. I guess I'll burst an Apparition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, another one incoming. Let's do Blade Dance, Infinite Blades, Doppel... Well, let me see what the Apparition gives me. Okay, and then Doppelganger. Alright. Oh, there I took damage though. And there's nothing I could have done about it. Yeah, I wasn't paying close attention, but... I'm also pretty close to being able to kill here. Let's burst the Deadly Poison. And then the Catalyst. Yeah, 351. What a shame. I was very close to perfecting that one, but I think I just didn't... It's not like I, I missed it. I just didn't have enough... Um, well, I just wasn't able to to defend that turn. Nothing I could have done. We got an Energy Potion and then definitely Corpse Explosion. That fits really well with my deck, and hopefully I get Dono Deca. And then here... I mean, I don't need to rest, but I also don't really need um, Rest Sites. Oh, it would be nice. Uh, Black Star is probably the best here, though. That might uh, ensure that I get a high score. Because I would have 25 relics if I get 30 more. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Alright, time meter at the end. So hopefully I'll be able to explode him with poison. That's the hope. Uh, only one... Oh, yeah. There are only one elite paths. No two elite paths. I said these, these were on the same path, but no, they're different. Um, okay, so then let's maximize question mark rooms. If I start on the left, I'll get three question marks, and then continue on, four, five, six. If I start... Oh, that was the right, sorry. If I start on the left, that's two, three total. If I go somehow in the middle, that's four, five, six, six. Interesting. Although, wait, yeah, yeah, it's only one elite. Wait, that's the most, right? So this path would be... Um, hang on. One, two, three, four... Five, six, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the right path to take. Okay. Alright, so this is great because I can do Bouncing Flask and then Catalyst. Alright. And then probably Catalyst this guy, just because he's going to die faster. Oh, I am again taking damage. Yeah, taking damage is, is going to be a problem. At least I get energy out of it with the Art of War. Uh, let's do Crippling Cloud... Noxious Fumes. Okay, and then Piercing Well. Actually, let's do uh, Doppelganger. I probably should have done Piercing Well too to avoid any damage, but it's okay. Alright, now just target the Backliner. Bursty Deadly Poison. Alright, let's see. Skewer, Bane, or Terror. I mean, I already... I don't have a Bane yet, right? But Terra is probably pretty good, especially with the extra energy and extra strength. Okay. Um, yes, definitely want to fight for you, Rare Relic. Okay. Oof, early Catalyst. That's kind of bad. Let me see if I can get a Burst or some other source of power. Um, or a Poison. I mean, no, I don't think I can. So let's just do Apparition and Battle... Um, or Bouncing Flask. Okay. I also... Uh, exhaust the doppelganger. Alright. That's a lot of incoming. Luckily, I have another apparition. Very good. And I kept the Akabiko for the dagger spray. Also nice. Should have played the defend first with a little bit extra damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. 37. That's a lot. Uh, I can burst the Crippen Cloud. Okay. And then the deadly poison. Is that too much? And might be the, all I need. 8 plus 18 is 26. Yeah, the uh, neutralize alone is not going to be enough. Alright, let's do deadly poison. And then neutralize. Okay. 18. He's dead, right? Right. Okay, we got ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns, as well as a fear potion, which I don't think I'll take. And then Caltrop backflip, sucker punch. Let's go with the backflip. Mm hmm. Oh no, I can't remove all curses from my deck. That would be a disaster for my strength. Oh, Bokker just won though this time. Let's do all my skills here. 
Yeah, we have to, or I have to figure out a way to be able to fully defend on turn one. Because right now that is a problem. I'm actually taking a decent amount of damage. I'm a little worried about that now. The apparitions are not as consistent as I hoped they would be. Alright, so let's do... Uh, yeah, let's do Dagger Spray. Okay. And then Shiv. And instead of Strike, I'll just do the Corpse Explosion. Okay. Alright, down to 13 strength. Um, he is dead, though, pretty much, right? Okay. The Shed's Outmaneuver Destruction. I mean, I do have a lot of skills. And with the extra strength, that might come in handy. Let's take it. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so Writhing Mass, this is great because then I can get another Parasite. I already have one, although obviously it's going to be hard to get a collector bonus on that. All right, so definitely want to play the Corpse Explosion. Looks like I'm, I will have to take this damage. I don't think I really have a choice here, which is a little worrisome because I am running a little low on HP and I still have another Elite. I'm actually seriously considering... Let's see, so if I do... If I go on the right, that'll give me... Wait, uh, see, I forgot the best path here. So after this point, if I go on the right, I can get one, two, three question marks. No shop, though. If I go left, I could get also three question marks. Still no shop. Did I not see a single shop so far? That might be possible. Hmm. I do wonder if I should... No, it's fine. It's fine. I think I'll, I'll maximize question mark. So yeah, let's go on the right because then I can rest back up to full. Well, let me let me make sure I survive this one. So let's do deadly poison. Uh, yeah, infinite blades, deadly poison, and a corpse explosion. And yeah, I think I'll just take a bunch of damage here. I don't really have a choice. Okay, 21. Uh, okay, apparition is great. Piercing whale is great. Actually, hang on. Apparition is not that great because I might still take damage. Let's do Adrenaline first. Okay, and then burst the Apparition or burst the Corpse Explosion? Uh, sorry, the uh, Catalyst, I mean. So that'll be 45 times 3 is 135. That's actually not going to be enough. Oh, actually, never mind. No, I need, I need a Curse, right? So I don't even want to kill here. Let's do Sucker Punch. Okay, that's perfect. And then, and then, wait, let me just make sure. If I burst the Catalyst, 4,535, that won't kill him yet. That's exactly what I need, right? Okay, and then I'll kill him next turn. Yeah, that was perfect. All right. Got very lucky that I got the curse immediately in the second turn. Doesn't usually happen. Usually the uh, Writhing Mass doesn't cooperate well with me. Okay. Alright, we've got an Ancient Potion, which I don't think I'll take, and the Lex Sweep is pretty good. I could go for another Acrobatics, but uh, it's going to be tough to get a Collector Bonus, and I think Lex Sweep is too important. Alright, so I am seriously considering going on, uh, going to the Rest Set and Rest thing, just because 8 HP is is quite low. Um, I just want to make sure, yeah, if I go on the right, I'll get 3 question Marks. Yeah, the sad thing is I just won't, won't hit a shop that way. And, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's maximize uh, question mark. Part. Ooh, two normalities. Upgrade all cards. I mean, it's such a shame. If I get two normalities, I'll get so much gold and still no shot. But yeah, fine. Let's do it. Yep. Also gives me max HP and extra strength. Okay. And then here I'm losing max HP. But healing back to full, which I think, again, was very necessary. Especially against something like the Nemes Nemesis. I mean, this is pure luck if I could perfect this one. So 13, 12, yeah, I am fully defended here. If I do defend, survivor, and then I'll do infinite blades and flying knee. Okay. All right, 45. Uh, apparition alone is not enough, right? I need uh, another way to defend here, and I just didn't get one. Yeah, nothing I can do. I just have one incoming and, and just literally nothing I can do. Uh, in that case, let's just do the uh, doppelganger here. Yeah, what a shame. I think I'm just lacking good defensive cards. Or, I mean, there are tons of relics that could help me too, but... Okay, Normality is actually kind of annoying. Uh, let's do Apparition. Bouncing Flask. Should I do another Apparition? Let me do another Apparition. Yeah, I was going to do the Corpse Explosion, but I think it's safer to just be uh, intangible this turn. Or to be guaranteed to be intangible this turn. Okay. So, again, I can burst the Apparition. And the Crippling Cloud. Alright. 
Yeah, still taking da damage. Not much, but it's good to rest it, otherwise I would have been very low on HP. Alright, and then let's do Deadly Poison, Catalyst, and... Um, I think I'm going to try waiting. Wait, uh, yeah, I'll be intangible next turn, right? Yeah, let's wait, uh, just because I want to keep the Nunchaku at 9. Also, I just realized the Black Star is pretty useless because I only got one Elite, which is hard to predict, just unfortunate. Deadly Poison, and yeah, he should be dead next turn. Okay. Alright. Okay. So we got Captain's Wheel at the start of your third turn. Gain 18 block as well as Blue Candle, which is great. Especially uh, helping against the normalities. Unplayable curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose 1 HP and exhausted. Bane, Distraction. I mean, Distraction is good. I might... No. Might, I think I already had a copy of Bane. Well, it doesn't look like I have a copy. I think I have one Flying Knee, right? So let's pick up... Uh, where's the other Flying Knee? Yeah. Let's pick up a second one for a potential collective bonus. I also just realized I have Courier, right? So I maybe I should have really prioritized going for a shop. Hopefully, I mean, I still have question mark rooms. All right, got to regret that, I suppose, or a This is exactly what I wanted. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. That would have helped me. Well, that would allow me to perfect the last the last elite fight, so. Oh, well, um, sure, let me see what I get here. And Tropic Brew is good. I'll take that over the energy potion. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. And then the mom. Let's do backflip. Uh, noxious fumes. And I'll do. Fine. Let's get rid of the normality and then infinite blades and doppelganger. Okay. I could have just played doppelganger, I guess, but it's nice to have an infinite blades out. Alright, get rid of the regret for sure. And then uh, defend is actually barely going to help, so I'm just going to rely on the orcalcum here. Let's do deadly poison. Shiv. Dagger spray. I should have done Dagger Spray first, right? Wasted the uh, Akabiko there. Okay, 10. Alright, Crippling Cloud, Apparitions, and Shiv. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Sheds is only 18 damage. Skewer is a lot, right? Yeah, it's a lot. Let's do Catalyst, another Apparitions, Shiv, and Skewer. Mm -hmm. And then he's dead next turn with the Poison. Okay, actually, I guess I can do another attack to get the uh, Nunchaku closer to 9. We got a Flex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Acrobatics Dash. Dash is useful, but let's go with an Acrobatics. That may give me another Collector Bonus, potentially. I really hope the next question mark is a shop. Alright, so 12 incoming. Let's do Backflip. Definitely need Noxious Fumes. I could Burst the Deadly Poison. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let me Burst the Deadly Poison. Okay. And then, do I want to burst defend? Seems like overkill. I might... Well, I don't really have a better choice. Mm, let's do Noxious Fumes instead. I'll take some damage here, but that should be fine. Okay. Alright, uh, so here I can just do Corpse Explosion, and that should kill everything, right? Catalyst, just for good measure. Okay. Oh, wait, why wasn't that enough? Um, oh, he only had 20 HP. Why? For some reason, I could have sworn my eyes told me that uh, he had 30 HP. All right, that's fine. No huge harm done. We got a duplication potion, which I'll definitely also take probably over the uh, weakness potion. Flying knee, doppelganger, flechettes. I guess I'll do another flying knee. Okay. And nope, no shop. Yeah, I got unlucky. I think with all the gold I had and the courier, I could have probably gotten a lot of collector bonuses at that shop. Especially since I have Toxic Egg, a bunch of my skills would have been upgraded. Oh well. Um, can I do... Yeah, the shivs are enough here. And then let's do Infinite Blades. Okay. Alright, 40 incoming. Um, let me do Apparition, Deadly Poison, and Catalyst. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a very early Catalyst, but I think anything helps here. Actually, if I can get another Apparition out, I don't have to worry about Catalysts anymore. Uh, or Poison anymore. Let's do Lexu for weakness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another one. Uh, get rid of the Regret. And just... Actually, I'll do Flying Knee, right? It doesn't harm me. Mm -hmm. 
And then 52 minus 33. I should be fine here. Let me play a bunch of attacks to get the Nunchaku operated. Let's do Shiv Shiv Acrobatics. All right. And then Dagger Spray. Actually, Flechette's good amount of damage there. Mm -hmm. Dagger Spray. Another Acrobatics. All right. Apparition, Sucker Punch, Flying Knee. And Skewer. Actually, well, yeah, let's do Skewer. Brings me up to 8. That's pretty good. Also, wait, 400? No. Yeah, 447 damage. I didn't notice when that much happened. All right. Uh, deflect Bane or Cloak and Nagger. I'll take a Cloak and Nagger here, although against the Time Eater, that might have not been the best idea. All right, here I need a Corpse Explosion. Okay, perfect. Thanks for listening, game. Let's do Apparition, Corpse Explosion, the strongest one? No, let's do the weakest one, and I'll do Noxious Fumes. Okay. Uh, everybody's attacking me. Uh, let's do... Oh, that's kind of a bad hand. I don't think I can kill here. Let's do Flying Knee, Deadly Poison, and... Uh, I don't want to take this much damage. Let's get rid of this. Doppelganger, I guess. Hang on. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take the damage. It's okay. I hope I hope that'll be fine in terms of HP. I would like to avoid resting again, although it doesn't matter too much for my max HP situation. Um, let's just... Actually, maybe I'll just leave, leave the Nunchaku as is. Uh, no, wait. I have to kill this guy. Let's do Adrenaline. Leg Sweep. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll save the energy, and I definitely want to keep the Nunchaku at 9. Oh, actually, yeah, that was enough. Alright, Dash, Calculate, Gamble, and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is fine. Yeah, let's take another one. Okay, I I mean, resting wouldn't make a big difference, right? I started 70 and I rested twice, so I'm not missing out on extra points. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's just be safe. I don't want to get this far and then lose. And again, I think the apparitions, I, I don't think I would I would have been able to get max HP. Oh, no, hang on. With the uh, cursed run, I would have gotten max HP at the end of this fight. So I did miss up on 25 points by resting. So, But I, I feel like it was necessary. All right, let's do Noxious Fumes. He's already weakened, right? So I have to do Leg Sweep and Defend. No, uh, with the Dex Potion, the one Leg Sweep should be enough. Let's definitely do Noxious Fumes. I'm probably going to avoid the Infinite Blades, but... I messed up. I thought I could do a Bouncing Flask. That's fine. Let's wait. So here, I would definitely want a Duplication Potion, the Catalyst, if I can. That'll make my life either easier. 15. Let's do Backflip. Um, is this too early for an apparition? I think so, because I think I can defend without it, with a survivor, for example. Alright. Uh, this apparition might be necessary. Let's do corpse explosion. And, yeah, let's do one apparition here. Actually, I guess I could get energy back with a dagger spray. Let's do that. Okay. And uh, do I want another strike? No, I think I'm good. Let's wait. Hmm. Alright, 19. Oh, this is a bad hand. I'm almost fully defended. I have to drink this Entropic Brew. Okay, Essence of Steel is great. Um, probably don't need the Flex Potion. Let's get rid of the... Actually, I can play 5 cards here, right? That'll bring him up to 21 and I am fully defended. So, Normality, Shame, and Parasite. Mm -hmm. And then Deadly Poison and Strike. Alright. At least I got rid of one Normality. That's, I think that's worth it. Okay, 18. I need to play the apparition. Let me see what the acrobatics gives me. Oh, there's a catalyst. So if I triple, double it now, so it'll be times 9, right? So that's 180 uh, or 90, uh, 98, 198. Twice is enough to kill. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Let me actually play the piercing well here. So let me duplicate the catalyst. Okay, that should kill next turn. I can do piercing well. And Apparition, and another Apparition. Okay. Yeah, and then he should be dead with the Poison this turn. Okay. Yeah, classic Poison kill with the uh, with the Silent. Alright, yeah, sadly, I don't think I did super well. 46 minutes. This was a fast run. For some reason, I thought it would take longer. 1079, that's actually really bad. Yeah, I think... I didn't do too poorly. I did perfect two of the three elites. Um, uh, three bosses, I mean. I don't think I really had a chance. Um, 
to perfect the third one. So I, I think that's fine. Uh, only one out of five elites. Yeah, if I had gotten that Orichalcum or earlier, that would have been good. I think the biggest problem was that I only got one collector bonus. That was the apparitions. Now, um, if I had gotten a different path, I think with courier and uh, so much gold, I would have been able to hopefully get more collector bonuses. I do wonder. So partly the reason I went right here is to get this uh, rest site here. I think the gold event was here, right? So if I had gotten on the left instead, I would have gotten the gold event in this question mark. And then this shop, I could have gotten just crazy, bought a bunch of stuff with courier too. maybe got enough relics, maybe got more collector bonuses. Yeah, a little disappointing. I have to admit, yesterday's run was so much better, right? Let's review where we stand in the rankings, though. It's been a while. Don't 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 be surprised about the time skip. So uh, yeah, I I skipped a lot of time here, but uh, it looks like I did very poorly compared to others. Wow, not even oh my god, not even a top 60, 69th. That's very low score, and actually tied with uh, the next two places too. So 71st, really. Yeah, I am not surprised. So even if I perfected more elites and, and bosses, that wouldn't have gotten me to the 1300 range. I think this is mostly just collective bonuses. I am curious if uh, anybody got to shops on the last act. If you can let me know in the comments what you did, uh, if you were able to get a lot of collective bonuses thanks to that shop, or if there's something else that maybe I missed. Anyway, it was an interesting run. So thanks for watching. Bye.